Hi, I'm Artifax of Mars, and I am going to speculate a little bit about what I see happening with this recount business. You're not going to like what you're about to hear. This is going to be nasty. Uh, if Jill Stein, I said Jill Stein, I'm not going to call him Jill, Jill Stein anymore, I'm going to call her Jill Stein and Hologram Hillary succeed in what they're doing. Now this is an article from CBS that's full of utter BS and so forth, but uh, anyway. So, Joe Stain has asked for recounts in Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Now all the talking heads that I've been listening to every single one is saying that this is a delaying tactic. Why a delaying tactic? Well, the deadline is 19th of December, and that's when the electors meet to cast their ballots. And if she can keep these three states out of it, then Trump will not pass 270 mark as far as the electors. And what that means is, with Trump not passing that, nobody has a majority, then we wind up with a constitutional crisis. Now, I'm going to explain something. The Congress goes on recess December 16th. It's basically about two weeks from now. The vote's on 19th. The Congress reconvenes on the 3rd of January. However, the Congress will be more obsessed. Uh, you'll have people leaving. You'll have new ones getting ready to come in. So you're not going to get a vote. Now, why is that a bad thing? Well, here's the problem. Uh, I did some research and looked to see what would happen. This has only happened once. It was in 1924 uh, when they had one distinct party and they had four different people. None of them got the uh, right number of electoral college votes. Now, in that case, what you have is the, under the 12th Amendment, you have the House of Representatives is supposed to choose the president, and the Senate is supposed to choose the vice president. Now, if these idiots don't get moving, we're going to run into a serious problem. If they don't get moving before January 20th, I mean. Why? Well, Obama and what's his face, uh, Biden, are going to be term limited out. So they're going to be out of the picture. So let's say uh, Jill Stein and Hal Graham Hillary get their way and they're able to delay things and stop the uh, electors from casting votes in those three states. Nobody gets a majority. Essentially, they've just nullified the election, but it gets it gets worse from there. So we go on, and they basically aren't going to get anything done until well past uh, January twentieth. Obama and Biden are gone. You know who becomes uh, acting president? Since you know, if they if the Congress hasn't chosen anybody, you're going to wind up with Paul Ryan because he is Speaker of the House. He's served in line of succession, and with the other two gone, and Paul Ryan is will be in as president, and I'm assuming he'll choose some vice president 
another globalist like he is. So he might not even have a vote. He might wind up having that idiot, Paul Ryan, being in for president. Uh, he's sort of in line in succession. So in other words, you'd, Democrats would not have hologram Hillary necessarily, but they would have a globalist like Paul Ryan in there. Doesn't sound very appealing now, does it? I don't know what the, I don't know what Jill Stein and hologram Hillary are thinking. I said, this happened once in uh, 1824, 1825, that election, but under completely different circumstances. I'm just worried if we go that long and we go past that January 20th deadline, then we wind up with Paul Ryan, I think we're going to have a major constitutional crisis. As word for a while, might wind up with Kerry, but he's further down on the uh, line of succession. And Paul Ryan does not like Donald Trump. So what happens after that, I don't know. Whether we'd even have a vote, or whether Paul Ryan would just ta uh, take over as president. It's impossible to say at this point. But I guarantee you, there's a whole lot of people who are not going to be happy with this. There's nothing you and I can really do to uh, prevent Jill Stein and Hologram Hillary from doing this. Unfortunately, they're determined to uh, throw a monkey wrench into the machinery, no matter what... No matter uh, what they say, uh, talking about the uh, Michigan one, state election officials have authorized the 19th largest counties in the state to begin recount on Friday and would continue through the weekend. And then officials would move on to surrounding counties. All the else will be counted by hand in each county which is what Jill Stein wanted in order to slow things down with state election officials supervising the process each step of the way. State election director Chris Thomas estimated full recount could be done finished by December 9th or 10th, assuming there are no legal objections from other candidates or campaigns. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. If another candidate were to contest the recount, the process of counting ballots will be put on hold until border canvassers can rule on challenge. However, with a challenge, it could be difficult for Michigan to make, meet the December 13th federal deadline for recounts to be completed. It's just six days before the lecture hour of college votes on December 19th, formally like the next president. And Trump's fighting it. Uh, so here's, now here you go. Jill Stein and Hologram Hillary are trying to Essentially nullify the election. Apparently, the only thing I can figure is they would be much more comfortable with the globalist rhino Paul Ryan rather than Donald Trump. You take your pick. <laughs> to be honest with you, I think it's going to be if they succeed in uh, doing this, I think it's going to be nasty. Cause I, in this day and age, it may have worked back in 1824, 
but in this day and age, I can't see going past uh, going past January 20th without having a candidate in place. If we don't have either one in place, and we're screwed. So like I said, Ryan takes over by constitutional law, and we wind up with an ugly thing that I really don't want to see. Thank you very much, Hologram Hillary and Jill Stein, for ruining this election. Unbelievable. I'm Artifacts Mars. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not pay making predictions. But I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching. And let's hope this doesn't happen. I, I can't deal.